Oshkosh 2023 here at the Ultralight Field. Want to check in with the Hummel crowd here and see what's going on. So, uh, Matt, give us uh, an introduction, where you're at uh, in the United States here, and what you do. Sure. My name is Matt Higgins. Um, I've owned Hummel for, this is our third year. I uh, bought it from Terry Hallett, who owned it for many, many years. Uh, we're located now in southeast Michigan, kind of near Ann Arbor, um, so that part of the world. Um, Still busy building ultra cruisers, uh, part 103 legal, um, metal ultralight. You, you, so you've got a couple offerings right now? Yeah, yeah and the H5 uh, is LSA, um, N number LSA version, basically the same airframe. Higher, faster, heavier, more fun possibly. And you're still offering plans for either? We do, yep. Plans, kits, parts. Um, the part 103 airplane we can build um, anything from one part all the way to turnkey ready to fly. And what is uh, the most popular item at the moment? It, it, well, let me restate that. What is the most popular way to build an aircraft? Is it still from plans or is it from kit or ready to fly? That's changing. Uh, when I first started doing this it was plans and kits. Today if you ask me that which you just did, it's going to be a lightning build or ready to fly. That's what people are. That's what people are looking for now. People want to get into the air faster and faster. That's true. That's true. Okay, so on the Ultra cru Cruiser, which is the most popular in my mind, I remember seeing that years and years ago. I wanted something to build in my in my um, living room, practically. Uh, what if you were to buy the kit? Do you have it broken down in kind of subcomponents, or do you do it just as the complete kit, or what? We do subcomponent. What we're doing is we're doing basically three airframe modules. And a fourth module that's the power plant propeller, basically a firewall forward. Um, the only thing we don't really change the price at all. The only thing that might affect you a little bit is if you're really far from Michigan, if you buy a lot of com modules, the, the shipping might be a little higher. But we don't penalize you for doing it that way. And as a manufacturer and supplier, do you recommend starting off like in the tail or the wing or the fuselage? What's, what's the best area to start with? Uh, our, our module A is fuselage, tail, motor box. Um, and the way our airplane's built, you got to build the fuselage first. Um, and uh, while, while in the beginning that seems like the most challenging, it kind of preps you to do everything else. And then all the rest of it seems pretty easy after that, quite frankly. At the same time, if I had to do it over again, I think I would start the fuselage because everything is in the fuselage. Right. Everything bolts onto it. It gives you a place to put everything while you're doing it. Yeah. For sure. All right. So let's talk about um, engine options. I know uh, early on the only available option for that uh, Ultra Cruiser was the, the modified two-cylinder Volkswagen. You've got something else now. We do. Yeah, we do. We've created a, a V-twin like a lot of folks are doing now. Um, my, my customers were asking for electric start. That was a big deal. Um, with a half Volkswagen, you can't get electric start on it and be part 103 legal. So I took a, a V-twin, we made it really lightweight, we put really good performance parts in it, and with an electric starter we ended up at 85 pounds, which is the same weight as the Volkswagen. Um, the airplane flies pretty well, it flies me around, and I'm certainly on the heavier side of 170, so it flies me around well. Uh, the airplane did fly here at Oshkosh on Tuesday. Uh, I got some video of that I'm going to put on our website. So you got the uh, engine options figured out. What would you say is the max pilot weight of the Ultra, cru Ultra Cruiser? Probably 260, 270 pounds. And the H5? We think we have 300 pound guys flying it. I, say, I assume it's close. It just It's a bigger airplane, so then... The horsepower is the big thing uh, for climb. Yeah. So switching over to that, the H5 is a bigger all-around. I assume the, the sheet metal is a little bit thicker, and you can also operate a bigger engine. That's correct. Sheet metal is a little thicker. Internal structures like spars are, are heavier duty. Uh, and We run anywhere from a 70 to an 85 horsepower uh, Volkswagen in that, uh, which gives you a you know, really good climb and a really good, really good cruise. Uh, 85 horse in a gross weight airplane of 850 pounds, that's pretty good. All right, so let's talk building for a minute. Um, starting off, um, l let's say we're going to do the full kit, right, instead of the plans, because plans could take a lifetime, right, depending on your skill and that kind of stuff. So let's stick to the kit. About how long, just to, just to finish the metal work, because, again, adding the extras can take a lifetime as well. So just doing the metal work to get the airframe done, how, do you th how long does that take? Uh, first time building on an Ultra Cruiser is probably around 250 hours on an H5. There's a little more work to do because there's some more uh, components there. That's probably a little closer to 400. It's still pretty fast. 
It's very fast. And again, this is, is everything pop riveted or certain things like the spar is still solid AN riveted or? Yeah, the spars, the structural components are still AN riveted, but I'm doing that for you at the factory, so you're not doing that. Uh, you're only pulling rivets, uh, AVEX rivets, most of them. Uh, you're pulling them with an air puller or a hand puller. Um, you're not jigging anything anymore. Uh, the airframe kits self-jig, self-align. Um, you're drilling a few holes here and there in a few components, and that's really about it. Okay. Well, talk to me about uh, the pricing and starting off with plans. How much can I buy a set of plans for? And then walk me through the kits. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com. Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net. South Mississippi Light Aircraft at FlySMLA.com. Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com. Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics and so much more. Uh, plans for both of them are $350, $375. Um, the kits are, uh, they're on their website, I don't remember the exact numbers per se. Uh, all in on an Ultra Cruiser kit, the airframe kits are about $21,000. On H5 kits are about $27,000. And then each of them firewall forward, uh, vary a little depending on what's engine package. Uh, the V-twin engine package, which is engine, prop, spinner, uh, throttle cable, engine instruments, is $6,900. Uh, if you buy the full Volkswagen from Scott Castle in Arizona, I think he's about eight or nine, with another thousand for a prop. So you got about ten uh, firewall forward on H5. And what do you have available as far as the, the plans or assembly manual or videos to help the uh, the builder build it? Right. Well, we, there's about 22, I think, assembly videos online now for the H5. Uh, and the H5 and Ultra Cruiser are almost the same build process throughout. So we kind of overlap those a lot of times. Uh, I have a uh, real thorough build manual for the Ultra Cruiser. Uh, we call it the 3D manual, but it's... Um, three-dimensional component view of everything step-by-step um, step how to put it together uh, we're working on one for the H5 due to the volume of customers on the Ultra Cruiser I got to do that one first uh, but we're working on it we'll get we'll get there awesome well, I'm happy to see you here at uh, Oshkosh 2023 and you said um, kits are still rolling out the door oh yeah kits are out the door we're lead time in around 12 weeks so we're, we're pretty we're pretty good we're keeping up we're doing a good job I think getting stuff out to people when they need it and keeping them building yeah, that's what I'm hearing here um, this year that everybody is staying busy which is a great sign for our community and our industry of aviation that uh, that's still strong and people are still wanting to build airplanes Do you have uh, some type of builders group that people get together to talk about construction and stuff like that or sure I, we don't run it which I think is a great deal but there is a Facebook site it's uh, home build Hummel Airplane Builders, I think, and uh, we, we watch it, we help out, answer some questions, but we don't monitor it, which I think is the, really the right way to do it. Let the builders uh, talk to each other, and I'll chime in once in a while with some help, but I tend to stay out of it. Um, well, where can everybody reach you online or um, on social media? Yeah, uh, we do have a Facebook uh, um, Facebook site. Our website's pretty pretty thorough, which is just HummelAircraft.com, pretty easy. And if you want to get us by email, it's real easy. It's sales at HummelAircraft.com. Pretty basic. Awesome, Matt. Well, thanks for giving us a quick tour today and an update on Hummel. Thank you very much.